Here we have a problem of calculating our normal and abnormal spoilage. So you can see we have some data here, uh, work in process beginning, starting during current period, or started during current period, and the total amount to account for, which is the sum of the work in process and, and the amount started. And then we also have some data, our total spoiled units, the number of good units transferred out, and our ending work in process. And you can see that we can reconcile the total amount to be accounted for. So our sample problem here, we really just need to compute the normal and abnormal units. Um, and you can see some inf information here. Inspection occurs at 100% completion stage. That means that inspection is all the way at the end of the uh, production process and normal spoilage is 3% of good units passed through inspection. And normally this, uh, this percentage is going to be determined just from past history and uh, goals uh, set by the organization as far as what the, the normal amount of spoilage for this production process would be. Um, so normally this is a historical amount that's, that's uh, been arrived at. So to complete the normal and abnormal units, first of all we need to look at the total spoiled units. Uh, we have 12,720 and we need to figure out how much of that is is normal. And so we know that normal spoilage is 3% of good units passing through inspection. So to figure normal spoilage, I'm going to put in a little formula here. We're going to go 0.03 3% times the normal the, the number of units passing through inspection. Uh, so that would be good units transferred out. So we're going to multiply 3% times this amount and that should give us a number of normal spoilage 4012.8 uh, units. So we're going to round that to 4,013 units. And the abnormal spoilage then would be anything uh, that's spoiled beyond the normal spoilage. So here we're going to be able to figure uh, this amount and subtract out normal spoilage and we get our abnormal spoilage. So this is the amount of normal spoilage we had. This is the amount of abnormal spoilage. Uh, so if you were the production manager in this case, this would not be a good situation because you had a high amount of abnormal spoilage um, in the process. So the second part of this problem, uh, assume the equivalent unit cost of a spoiled unit is $14. Calculate the amount of savings if all spoilage is eliminated. So, in other words, if we eliminate our abnormal spoilage, uh, how much is that going to save us in cost? And so the simple way to do that is to take uh, 8,707, multiply it, times the $14 equivalent uh, unit cost. And we can see that that would save us 121901 And if we reduced our normal spoilage to zero, we would be able to do the same there. We're going to multiply that times $14. And this is simply the sum of these two. So our potential savings would be $178,080 if we were to eliminate all spoilage. And of course we could look at if we just eliminated the abnormal spoilage, we would save uh, significant costs as well. So that's how you complete, uh, compute abnormal and normal spoilage. And you can see the potential savings if we were to eliminate those.